Yep. I lose to myself. Oh, I can do it! Yes! <laughs>Hey everybody, this is that brown bag back once again Disney Infinity 3.0 with Lord Darth Vader Rise. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the force We are in Darth Vader's hangar bay on the Death Star Okay, okay now what we need to do Let's go up to level 20 like we did with Han and Chewie. Once we get to level 20, we will uh, put put points into his skill tree and then show off some of his moves. And which I don't know what the moves are at this point. I'm guessing a lot of them are similar to Anakin's. Because that name no longer has any meaning for me. It is the name of your true self. You've only forgotten. I feel the conflict within you let go. There is no conflict. The Emperor will show you the new meaning of the Force. And my father is truly dead. <laughs> Reactivating it. Did not activate. Let's see if we activate it from... My driving skills suck there we go oops Okay, so everybody knows the history behind Darth Vader. He was Anakin Skywalker. Seduced by the dark side of the Force. Pretty much seduced by... Uh, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. I gotta get that light runner out of the way. Just annoying. I'd crank the speed up on this thing. Didn't matter for the other ones because uh, it was a really tiny space. Let's uh, change this to 177. Made a difference. This is what Vader does for fun. If you spent more time chasing the rebellion <laughs> than playing in your hangar bay, you will win this war. Right? Probably not. Um, <laughs> so. From what I understand, in The Force Awakens, that uh, Kylo Ren guy is searching for Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. Um, if you know, Anakin actually had two lightsabers, a blue one and a red one. The blue one 
which would be the one that uh, and I don't know I don't know if this is official uh, this was not an official source I don't so I don't know if this is, information is true but I think that's what it is I think uh, this Kylo Ren is obsessed with Darth Vader the it's it's like a Darth Vader cult from what I understand and he's looking for a lightsaber I don't know if he's looking for the blue one or the red one okay so the blue one was uh, given to Luke in A New Hope. And that's the one in Empire Strikes Back when they were on Cloud City uh, when Vader was fighting Luke that Luke had and Vader's like, join me. Complete your training. With our combined strength we can end this destructive conflict and rule this galaxy together as father and son. I'll never join you! Search your feelings, you know it be true. No! And then he he had his hand cut off, and the hand that got cut off was the one that had the lightsaber. So you didn't see the blue one anymore. The last you see it was when that hatch opened up when Luke is falling down the the the, the, the air shaft. You can actually see his hand and or lightsaber fall through the bottom, and he got caught on one of the antennas which is good I mean otherwise he would have did it <laughs> You're way up in the sky so he rebuilt his that's where he got the green one and you didn't see Luke build the green one but it was filmed it's actually one of the deleted scenes from Return of the Jedi uh, you can see it now I think the deleted scenes have finally been released in crappy form uh, quality, but anyway, one, yeah, one of the set th scenes that everybody wanted to see cuts out. Well, it takes away from the plot of the story, really. So anyway, I digress. So this Kylo Ren searching for one of the lightsabers. Um, why I don't. I really do hope that uh, Force Awakens does not disappoint. <laughs> but uh, I have a feeling it's going to leave everything that we're hoping for it answers. I have a feeling it's it, it's it's going to answer a couple questions that we've been wondering, and every answer that it every question that it answers is going to lead to another question. I mean, it's a, it's it's part eight, or part seven of a three-part trilogy, so you still have the middle act and the end act. So, who knows? The only thing we can do now is, is speculate because everybody's like, well, the leak, this is leak. Um, and then somebody else will turn around, leak, plot leak. And it's different from the last five plot leaks, so really can't trust anyone that says plot leak. So we don't know. We do know a couple things. We know what's been revealed. Um, Joku, um, Crash Star Destroyer, which looks pretty cool. Uh, Han Solo and Chewie have been away from the Millennium Falcon for quite some time and found their way back. We don't know what happened. Uh, the comic books actually are running they might fill in some blanks but I don't think the comic books are gonna fill in too much just past what happened between uh, Return of the Jedi and uh, Force Awakens I haven't read the comic books or the novels so I, I, it was one of those things where I uh, kinda I spent a lot of time in 1996 97 and 98 um, going through uh, and reading the Zahn trilogy and uh, oh the one where uh, uh, they would uh, Luke and oh not Luke uh, Han and uh, Leia had uh, the twins and then the other so it was Anakin uh, Jaina and Jason Solo and I didn't even finish that. <laughs> it was just too many. Every, But one thing that was cool 
was the fact that uh, um, they all, every author was in contact with each other. There was a set rule that they had for the continuity. So when somebody wrote a book that took place at this particular time frame, it might be before what they we call the Thrawn trilogy or the Zahn trilogy. Timothy Zahn was the author. Uh, if it took place before it, it was fine, but they could not contradict anything. They could. They had to make sure that nothing would uh, influence or, or, or change the uh, time stream of any of the books that would take place after it. Same thing with the books that took place after it. They couldn't change anything that was written of, a, of one of the books that was written in the past. But anyway, they did away with all of that. And there was a lot of work that went into those. I don't know how many. I had I had most of them. And I kind of, then I veered off away from it, and I, I just got the source books. <laughs> and the source books and the uh, the encyclopedias, and that pretty much gave you a synopsis of who's who, what's what, when this happened, and why this happened, and who this person was, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we are level 20 finally. Um, we've been there for like five minutes now, I think. Me rambling around about rambling on. But uh, let's uh, pick some stuff and uh, see what we got and try to accurately make Darth Vader. Okay. Increase max health? Yes. Mid-air recovery? Yes. Force defense blocks an incoming close range attack and repels the attacker when timed correctly. Yes. Deflects blaster shots towards enemies with increased damage when timed correctly. Yes. Dark Lord deflect automatically. Yes. Um, I need one of these health buttons because he is Vader. Probably number five. And I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but he is Vader. Okay. Uses the force to push the nearby opponents away. Yubicha. Okay. I'm not too sure yet of what we have. Do we have another? Yeah, because he has a lot of stuff. All right. Increase the damage. Yes. Force jump. Absolutely. Combo. Damage, yes. Pretty much everything on this page is getting maxed. Okay. And then, increase the damage caused by Vader's lightsaber throw attack. Probably, yes. Increase the damage caused by... No, that... Wow. They're really excited on getting you to increase that damage. Is there anything after this one? No. Okay. Uh, force choke an enemy. Um, yes. <laughs> like the picture shows him choking one of the Imperial officers, just like in the movie. <laughs> How's that? Force choke an enemy, dealing damage over time while choking enemies. Throw them by flicking L, left or right hand. So this is a combo attack. Or combo finisher. Okay. Damage, damage. Everything's damaged to this guy. Okay, so we don't want to waste it on that one over here. Okay, so... That... Where are we at? We are at 28. This uh, charge and uh, hold R1. Wait a minute. Oh. So, yeah. So, this route will increase the damage, add a charge, and then allow push, um, old R1 to push opponents away with additional force. Okay, and then, uh, we have 15 now. Okay. 
increase the damage by choke hold, damage by force choke. So six and four, two. That's twelve. I don't want to expend all twelve, of course, because we want some to go into here. Okay, so add another charge in order to get additional damage. So yes, so we have eleven. So I need an odd number. So that will take me to wait a minute. No, I need I see eleven. Yeah, so this will take me to 8 if I get this one. What does this do? Force in your hand. Additional force. Hmm. That'll leave me with 6. I'm guessing I probably want that. So, what do we have here? 4. So, I'll just do this. We hit 6 here. Then we will... Uh, then we have the 5 and then we just do this. Right? Oh, I did right. I'll find out. I heard uh, John Vignacchi say that he had the highest jump. And I'm not seeing that. It's not going to bother me. I don't think he has the highest jump. I think it's the same as everybody else that jumps really high. Um, reason I say that because this block is three high, and as of yeah, I don't have anybody that can clear that. Except who was it? I think the Hulk can. I think the Hulk can, and I think Captain America is capable of doing that if you level him up particular method or particular way but yeah three blocks high is kind of the uh, the limitation where you can't get up okay now let me get the combat tree or the uh, combat kiosk okay air slam okay Let's try this. So, breaking defense level one. Fail. What? Alright, that didn't make any sense. I thought it's every time the flesh. try something here because I think there's an easier way to do that. Level one, do this again. So all I did here was I tapped it once, waited, and then just started hammering on the triangle. Does he have the, uh, he doesn't have the, uh, air combo. He got too old. He's more machine now than he is man. Twisted and evil. Okay. Combat kiosk. Try that again because it's only three. Okay, so we have tap, tap, wait, hit. Then we have 
Tap, tap. Smash, smash, smash. No? No. What was it? Tap? Wait, and then hit. Okay, so now... Give me... I want to see... Something... Um, where is it at? The, uh... Not platforming. The, um... Team changers. I want to see what, uh... Because sometimes the hue on you... Hue on you. Sometimes the, uh... The, the aura from the team activator... Can make you look really stupid depending on your character. So let me see if one of these fits him. They should have made him like teleport. I mean, if you remember in Empire Strikes Back, Vader would like fall down. Luke would hit him and be like, ah! And then he wouldn't be there. Then Luke would be like, it was, I mean, I remember first watching that, when that Cloud City battle, and Luke's looking for Vader. And he turns a light on. Door closes. You know? And he's walking around the corner, and all of a sudden, Vader starts throwing stuff <laughs> with a force. I mean, that, that was... To me, I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. All right, we could do red. Definitely not green, and definitely not purple. These two are like the joke colors. Okay, and blue. Blue pretty much almost fits anyone, though. Red makes it look like he's on fire. I'm burning! I'm burning! Okay. Oh, you shut it off. Okay. So. Beautiful Smackers. So we are blue, and let me get some stormtroopers, because whatever one I when I put them down, they are going to be the oh shoot. Hold on, let me delete this. No, you butthead! Hold on, I gotta put a roof back on here. Okay. <laughs> Vehicles and actors and stormtroopers. I just want to see something, guys. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, there's not enough clearance from the stand on the uh, mezzanine. It's my entourage. They shouldn't be able to get out here, but... It's something with the AI. They just have a tendency to want to be outside of walls. Okay. me get uh oh what would we have here mandalorians i don't want mandalorians man there the clone troopers 
This is going to be a sneak piece, or let me give you a taste of what it was, what it's going to be like for uh, Toy Box Rumble. Let me get my blue back. Delete the red. Dude, you're going back inside. Oh, that is so cheap. I can't jump with him. <laughs> Y'all see that? Okay, well that was fun. There's still some... Alright, I just wanted to uh, make sure he had control of the Star Wars, you know. Alright. Now I know what that looks like. Let me get somebody else. Oh, he doesn't have that dash. He has that. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I know it. Fall to the user. What? Well, everybody, I gotta get used to Vader. That, I mean, don't be like, there he sucks. Yeah. I gotta get used to him.
All right, now one more thing. Game maker. Where's boss? Boss, 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 boss. Come on, man. Got it. Oops. Here's a tip, guys, for a, uh... You're gonna do a boss generator? They have to, uh... If you want it in an enclosed space, you better put that down first. And then, do your thing. Do it evenly. I guess it was kind of pinch. I was yeah, I was doing it. I was doing it quickly, that's it. So whatever. That's fine. Alright, now we need uh logic connections. Properties, boss, Darth Maul. What would trigger it? Um, this would trigger it. New logic connection. If I exit. On. Okay, now. Turn all of these the same color. Totally past the one I was looking for. Just looking for modern. Still would have worked. Oh, there's a lot of texture or uh, patterns and colors for uh, simple toys. Okay, now. How. Oh. I didn't want to pick that. I didn't want to land inside either. There we go. I ain't making no promises, guys, because... You face the power of the dark side now. Abandon any hope that you may win. You are a fool to continue. Looks like two can play that game. This is how I beat him with Anakin on Extreme. This is how you totally own Darth Maul. You just gotta get it. This would totally make a bunch of people mad. 
Do not expect to win. <laughs> I, I can guarantee, guys, that if uh, when I get Darth Maul and I uh, have Darth Maul face, face Vader, Darth Maul will win. It's just how you play. If I put it on extreme, I'll lose. Well, almost lose. <laughs> See, properties now, boss, Vader. Let's do Vader versus Vader. that one. That is correct. You have failed. Oh, I can't use the finisher on him, but he can use it on me. Too, and I was thinking that that was my force dash. Ow. Well, we can do this all day. You want to see something funny, though? You see how I have... These pathetic attempts to defeat me. See how I have uh, the power disc for Mace Windu? Watch what happens when I call Mace Windu in. Oh, they must have fixed it. How many times I've done that, summon Mace Windu, and then it breaks the... Uh, Huh. All right. I lose to myself. Oh, I can do it! Yes! <laughs> I guess he must have countered it last time. Oh, I don't have Force Dash. Stop trying to do that. Anyway, guys, that is it for this showcase of Darth Vader. If you like Darth Vader and his combat abilities, not necessarily my playing skills, but his combat abilities and uh, the fact that you can fight yourself. 
And you can actually choke yourself. Yes. And if you like those things, hit that like button. If you like the decorations that they've given us in 3.0, hit the like button. If you like Darth Vader and his TIE Fighter, hit the like button. If you like Disney Infinity 3.0 in general, just hit the like button, guys. Alright, guys. I will see you in the next video. CIAO. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, smash that like button. And guess what? There's even more. Click on any of these boxes to view more awesome stuff. And don't forget to click that big subscribe button so you can be notified of all my upcoming videos. And again, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Matt Brown Bat, signing off. CIAO.